Oh, hey there, YouTube. Today, we're going to go through the comments. I put it out there. Should I get the Staccato XL? Should I get it? And you guys didn't disappoint in the comments. Um, the top comment, should I get the Staccato XL? The guy says, buy the XL, name it the Stegalodon. Oh, that's so good. That's actually a really good name. I was going to go with Steganator. But Stegalodon's pretty good. Or Stegosaurus Rex, maybe? That would be funny. Uh, well, one guy in the comments, Stegosaurus, you should name it. That's cool, but it should be spelled with two Gs. Stegalodon. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Um, next comment, don't buy another gun. Said no dude ever. Yeah, obviously, if I ask the internet, should I buy a thing? The internet's going to tell me to buy the thing. Next comment, he's got the staccato bug. They got him, boys. Um... Yeah, like this, you guys won't believe this, but I don't really feel like that. <laughs> I don't feel that way. It's like, uh, having the gun, shooting them, like part of the time, people like it. They find it interesting. What I like about shooting uh, these guns is uh, it's like, it's removing all of the, uh, all of the equipment stuff out of the way. So it's just me trying to go as fast as I can. Uh, because typically I shoot like stock or like service style guns. So shooting this, it's like just an open gun to me. So it's just a little different look at shooting. And I like the pace of it. So so that's why. If I go back to shooting, like I, it's not going to be my full-time thing to do competitive shooting. But if, I, if I'm uh, back shooting USPSA matches, um, shooting limited optics does make some sense to me. Like it's dumb that there's limited op optics and carry optics, but... There it is. Like, they're two very, very similar divisions. All right. Anyway, you should buy whatever gun your heart desires, my dude. We will watch, we will watch regardless. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'll get some more guns. Sometimes my Corgi, who's getting older, she looks at us for encouragement before trying to jump on the couch. She's almost 11 now. It's getting harder for her to make it up there. But she wants to be up there. She can't decide if it's worth the effort and the hip strain. But my wife and me tell her enough times, I have a feeling this is going to a not good place. Come on, you can do it. She eventually does. She's always so happy if she, she does. So come on, Ben, you can do it. You know it's going to be awesome. Get the XL. Be sure to tell us how glad you are that you did. Hmm. Angel on your left shoulder, do it. Devil on your right shoulder, do it. Next comment. You know you've already made up your mind to get one. Just order it already. I know I'm trying to stop uh, burning money this year, I've been a maniac, um, buying too much crap. Uh, buy the XL. I see their come on, co comment you're saying. Grave this one, Stegato or something that like that. Big Stegs, that's a good idea. I'm more curious about the smaller ones myself, mainly the C2, because the CCW 2011 sounds sick. <laughs> it it kind of does. You should, I think you should buy one or two of every Staccato they make. And if that's what you want, hell... Maybe then you'll come with a signature model and it could be called the Stegato. That would be the shit. No, I don't think they have much of a sense of humor about any of this stuff. Um, like the guns are fine or whatever, but I just don't think the people at the company think this is much fun, as much fun as you guys do. Uh, get it. XC is a cheat code in IDPA and the XL is the best USPSA limited optics for the money and similar feel to the XC so you can go back and forth easier. That's what I've done and it seems to work well for me. Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of the idea. Um, I'm already kind of competent on the platform or getting competent with it. You know, I'm still growing, but I'm kind of getting, getting comfortable with it. So to me, it's just like staccato P, put that over there, take the XL, put that in a holster, shoot that in a match. That is very, very low friction for me. Um, and I like low friction. So that's why it's kind of a, kind of an interesting thing. Uh, FYI, I just spoke with Staccato due to the fact I'm planning on purchasing the XL at the beginning of next year. And they said they have no plans on discontinuing the XL. And if they ever do, they will make it very public. It's a much too popular pistol for them to discontinue. I hope that's true. I hope that's true. Um, I have a feeling they're going to try to push people to proprietary mags, but, uh, we'll see. Um, he says the XL fucks so hard. I use mine for limited optics. Buy it immediately. See, this, I, I don't think, I mean, it's not like it's going to be that radical of a departure from anything else. It'll have, it'll have the XC trigger on it. So it's like a little bit lighter trigger and it's going to shoot like a P, but just shoot softer. That's what I'm kind of expecting. It's not going to be crazy. I mean, your face says it all. It's as good as bought already. 
It's a great company to support. I am H O. Um, yeah, it's as good as bought. Like who the fuck am I kidding? It is as good as bought. Is it a great company su to support? I don't know. I don't know about the people there. I don't know them. Maybe it's a great company to support, but if they're building guns that are okay, you should get them. We're not. Or do whatever you want. All right. You know the competition world. Staccato isn't really the money gun. If your readership is so money sensitive, why would their head explode with an MPA at 3.6K or an Atlas at 6K? When I bought my Staccato P, a good shooter said, it's the lower end of the high-end guns. For you, subtle differences for competition likely make a difference. For 99% of the reader, it's the Indian and not the bone arrow. I got the P just because I hate crappy triggers. Does that mean I'll tear it up in competition no it just means i hate crappy triggers okay yeah fair i guess um you get what you want man i don't i don't think the staccatos are crazy crazy money they're very expensive um but they're not crazy like in the competition world there's guys buying like eight thousand dollar guns shit we could talk about like competition shotguns that's real crazy money uh, yes, get it. I have the XL. I just received my platypus. Both shoot soft, but the XL is a bit better. That's what I would expect, is the XL to be a bit better than the platypus. Like, just a bit. Not Probably not a lot. There are lots of flavors because there's lots of taste. If you don't scratch the itch, you might hate yourself. You already know. You're just hoping everyone else agrees. Looks like the clouds formed a yes. It's a sign. Uh, to be honest, if everyone on here said, no, don't buy it, I'd probably still buy it. I don't, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too influenced <laughs> by people's opinions. An indoor range I shoot at sometimes had a STI three gun 2011 for a while, which is really close to the XL without the optics cut. I usually shoot Glocks, found this model of STI to be boringly easy to manage in regard to trigger control and return to the target. Actually, shoot the thing quite a bit and really thought the only thing lacking was a red dot. Personally, I would have gotten the XL over the XC model because I like the looks and feel of the longer barrel guns. Plus, the whole compensator thing on a fairly heavy 9mm pistol seems to be a little overkill to me. Well, in defense of the XC, the overkill of it is kind of the point. Like, it's ridiculous, that gun. That's kind of what makes it fun. Okay. Um, whether or not you buy it to your choice, it is, after all, your money. Having said that, staccato for some reason seem to attract more attention than one would normally expect from a fairly commonly owned firearm. Yes, yes, people like talking about it. People want to shoot them or, or fuck around with them. When, when I go to different places, they ask to see them. They like to play with them. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's an interesting, it's a tangibly interesting brand because they've uh, convinced so many cops to carry them. Uh, save yourself almost nine hundred dollars by the Bull Armory Blaze. For twenty-seven fifty, which comes with four twenty-round magazines, should be coming out very soon. It will smoke the shit out of any staccato, and you can buy from their website. Period. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great. At this point, you have to get the XL. Once your mind has been set on getting something, self-discipline not to get it goes out the window. I personally favor the staccato P DPO custom with steel frame and upgraded trigger over the XL, mainly because it's four hundred dollars cheaper. If I could own two staccatos, it would be the P Custom and XC. Yeah, like uh, like I said, this is this is mostly like um, I feel like uh, I'll get an opportunity to shoot USPSA again in the near future, and it just seems like I said the XL is like the lowest friction option. I wasn't planning on getting one like six months ago. I'd be like, no, I'm I'm not planning on getting that. Uh, let's do one more comment. Why not completely something completely different that gets you out of the water, like buying a rapid fire Olympic style pistol, trying things to see if you get anything out of it. It allows fully adjustable triggers, so you might find out more of what you like that others can't offer. With all the adjustable rifle triggers, why so little adjustable triggers besides over travel? Maybe some more features could stir up something good. Okay, yeah, I could get something completely different. It's not really instead of though. Like I can get more guns. The problem with the problem for me is time. So if I was going to try a completely different shooting discipline, like that would be a big time suck just to get spun up doing it. Like I said, like take the XL and just put it in the holster I already have and continue doing what I'm already doing. It's like I said, it's very low friction. 
I was really on the fence about buying a Staccato XL for getting into limited optics. I ended up going with a Bull Armory Air for aesthetic and financial reasons. If the P is going to be the backup, then I think the XL makes sense. It acts as a good bridge between the P and the XC. If someone wants to try the full gamut of Staccatos on the range, it would be good to have. Yes, I suppose I could just carry around all the guns. Anyway, uh, I think this gun is going to get ordered eventually, uh, probably in the very near future. I guess the only question now is to settle on the name. What do you guys think? So put it down below. Do you like Stegalodon, uh, Stegosaurus Rex, Steganator? These are all kind of funny. All funny names. Let me know.